What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Dislight, and today we're going to be talking about how to install, because yes, the open beta is live, and yes, it is an open beta, it is not a closed beta, so anybody can join, but there are a couple things we need to go over. There's some interesting ways to actually get this installed. One thing to note, this is an Android device user test, so there's a couple things. If you're in the United Kingdom, if you're in Canada, Australia, the Philippines, or Indonesia, all you have to do is go to the Google Play Store and you can find it, install it, no problem. But if you are outside of those regions, there's going to be a multiple step process to getting this game working. There's only one emulator on PC that I know is working for emulators. I haven't tried it on phone just yet, so you can give it a try, see if it works for you. But yeah, this is a process. So let's go through, show you guys how to install it and see if there's any issues. And uh, if you have any issues, make sure you leave a comment down below. Again, hit that subscribe button. We're, we're going to be putting a bunch of dislike content out. So let's jump right into it. <laughs> So first off, there is a big thing we need to talk about. Number one is there's only one emulator that we know actually works with this for now, and that is the Nox player, and it's going to be the 64-bit Android 9 version. It's not the most stable version, but it is the one required to play this game. We've tried it on BlueStacks. It does not work. We've tried it on LD player. Again, it doesn't work. So there's a few things you got to get done here. Number one, search for Nox player. Jump in here. Hit that download button. Get it going. Once you have that done, I want you guys to come on over and download one more thing. Search for APK Pure. Just go to that first link right there. You're going to hit the download button for the, uh, the actual player itself. Once you have that downloaded as well, you'll be good to go. So get that downloaded because we're going to dump that into the Nox player once we have it installed and opened up. So once you have the Nox player installed and set up, the first thing I want you to do is not immediate, immediately launch the Nox player because the basic one will not work. What I need you to do is open up the multi drive that you'll see. This one here will let you make multiple different instances of the game. Uh, you'll notice the default one right here is an Android 732 bit. That will not work. What you need to do is make a new one. So you're going to do add emulator down the bottom right. You're going to click the beta, that Android 9. It's the least solid, like steady format, but that's what you're going to need. Uh, if you do want to change anything else, like the name or anything, you can do it here. But once you have that done, it should say Android 9 64 bit. Once you have that, you can go ahead, hit that play button right there. It will launch uh, depending on what windows you have. It might throw it on a different window. So like for me, it put it down here. Uh, it does take a little bit to get set up and you'll see the progress bar here. We'll just go through the whole process so you guys understand what's going on as well. Next up, you're going to want to go to your downloads that you have set up. So there are a couple things here. Let me just get this set up here. When you come over, you'll notice you have some downloads. Of course, this we just want to we just want to get this maximized here. The resolution is a little funky at first, especially if you have multiple monitors. So I want to get it smaller on the screen for you guys. There you go. All right, so we got that going on here. You'll know you're on the right one if it says Android 9 in the background. That's one of the most important things. Next up, you are going to go to your downloads where you did download that APK Pure. You're going to drag and drop that on to your player. What that is going to do is it's going to install that app for you. Once you open it up, one thing, I don't know if it's necessary or not. I did it, so we're just going to play it safe here. If you go down to the bottom right-hand corner, me, Go to the gear up the top right. Come on over to region. I just set myself as Canada because that's one of the ones that is actually acceptable. Uh, once you do that, you're going to have to watch an ad real quick. You can skip past it. You can just skip past this. Now you're pretty much good to go. Now you're going to search for Dislight. Dislight is the one you need. Uh, it will pop up eventually here. It's a little bit slow. It's a little bit buggy. So again, if it does stuff like this, don't don't worry. You're not the only one that has things that pop up and do these weird things like that. You might have to multi do it a few times to actually get it to pop up for you. You'll see it right here. Go into it. You're going to hit install. It's going to start downloading. So one thing you'll notice, if for some reason you're not on the right version of Android 9, 
this will say request the app it'll basically just say you know it's like request download or something that means you're not in the right area it's not going to work for you if that is the button and you'll notice it kind of does this a little bit back and forth a bunch of times but as long as you got the item downloading you're in good shape couple of last things before we jump into the game you can probably kind of see the game already launched behind here but there's a couple things you want to take care of in the settings so go up to the gear you're going to come up to the top right corner hit that gear button performance settings i highly recommend you go to high for gpu i traded pl played it on middle and it was actually very jittery and laggy so definitely try that the other thing that is absolutely required is enhanced cap compatibility mode open gl plus do not run direct s you x you have to run this one right here once you have that though you're ready to jump into the game so once you have it installed you got it set up you go through the basic beginning of the story which uh, the story and the aesthetics of this is looking pretty good uh you get to this right here there will be multiple different screens you can be looking at here most of the things will be grayed out like bounties right here they have to be you know unlocked at a certain point but there are some things you can consider one thing i definitely want to talk about in this video and we'll probably mention it in the next few to make sure everybody knows about it re-rolling is possible but i really do not recommend it the summoning in this game is called the gotcha perfect name for it right uh so essentially to get these premium summons right here you have to purchase the gold records with 200 of these gems you do get one free one of course when you start but then you can you can farm up the currency to get these gold records i really highly recommend you don't it can probably take somewhere in the ballpark of three to five hours of playing to farm up enough to do about five summons, which means if you want to truly re-roll like a lot of you guys love to do in gacha games, it is a long, arduous project process. I really don't recommend it. I think overall, you guys should probably just, just stick to what you got. Most people end up with essentially the same espers overall you'll get an artemis a mona a bren uh drew which is pretty good you'll get a q and you'll get a helena those are kind of like the starting heroes right here that everybody will get artemis mona she's actually very good she does some really good aoe damage so she's a good kind of starter hero for you even for those who don't want to reroll if you absolutely like barry i need to reroll and get the maximum amount of heroes well you can consider it and you can try to farm up the resources by doing quests and all sorts of things to use these gold records. There's also silver records that you could consider part of the reroll process. For silver records, these are essentially friendship summons. So what you want to do is when you get to a certain point in the game where you can actually jump in here and get friends, you want to hit this button and you want to be applying to everybody here. Refresh, apply to everybody again over and over and over and over and over and over and over just try to get as many people on your friends list because if you're truly looking to re-roll then you probably still want to do the most op optimal way now silver records of course only get you rare and uncommon espers whereas the gold records have a one percent chance to get a legendary one one thing that's really cool about this game is everybody can continue to be leveled up past their two, three star capability. But if you are looking to reroll optimally, I would say do both friendship and farm up in game. But again, it is a huge time investment. So let me know what you guys think about the game. If you have any issues installing it, just leave a comment down below. I'll try to answer as many as possible because I had a lot of trouble getting this installed and up and going. It was not the easiest, but I eventually got it going. So far, I'm enjoying the game. It's definitely a game where it has enough stuff to do but it's a slower process if you're really interested about the game a little bit more check out the next video coming out it's going to be the beginner's guide the basic info about the game and of course make sure you guys take one second hit that subscribe button because we're going to have a ton of dislike videos coming out we're still going to have mobile legends adventure on this channel as well so if you're into multiple gacha games this is the place to be we'll see you guys next time